Models have a very close relationship with serializers. If you think uh, you want to have a little understanding or zero understanding about serializers and you want to uh, get away with this um, uh, serializer thing in DRF, then trust me, dude, you are out of the game. I have a separate video about serializers. Uh, you can look for uh, my DRF essential playlist to find out that video or I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to check that out. My serializer video has been receiving a very good response from the audiences so far. Please check that out. You definitely don't want to beat around the bush, do you? I'm going to assume that you have watched my serializer video by now. And now we can go ahead and find out how many types of serializers are available in DRF. There are so many types of serializers available in DRF, the most common being serializers and model serializers. But nobody really talks about when to use which and their usefulness. Both of them are pretty handy uh, depending on the situation. I'm going to cover both so please watch till the end. To demonstrate the concept, I'm going to show you my Marchand model. Uh, which has Marchand name, Marchand code and Marchand address. To write serializers for this model, we can create a file inside this Marchand app uh, named serializers.py. So let's do that. Okay, now we can type plus merchant serializer. Okay, now this merchant serializer class is just a simple Python class. It has no special effect yet. Let this class has the power of serialization by adding serializers dot serializer. So you have to type serializers dot serializer okay now this class has the ability not yet okay i have to import something so i can say from rest framework import serializers okay now this marchand class marchand serializer class has the ability to serialize fields okay uh, so we need to specify the fields over here so we can say a marchand name equal to then we can call these serializers and say this is a char field okay all right this is how we can specify the other fields i'm gonna i'm not gonna waste our time i'm gonna copy and paste them in all right so now this model since i have these three fields i have serialized those three fields okay by this serializer all right now every time this Marchand Serializer uh, class is called, it will serialize these three fields for us. So far we have written the first style of serialization. There is another style of serialization which is called Model Serializer. Let's see how we can write that. I'm going to comment on this code snippet for now and we'll write another style of serializer class. It's going to be like this model serializer. All right. Okay. So this is model serializer and the previous one was serializer. All right. And for this model serializer, you don't have to, you know, type like this. All you can do, you can say model of oh, no, sorry. I have to say class meta and I have to say model. I have to specify the name of the model in our case is Marchand so I'm gonna say Marchand because I'm trying to uh, map this Marchand model this model this one with I'm trying to let it know like model equal to my model all right in our case is Marchand and I have to also bring that in so from dot models import Marchand all right and the error will go away and now I can I have to specify the fields like which fields uh, this Marchand serializer is going to serialize I have to let it know I can say fields equal to and I can say all fields if I want all fields to be serialized okay so this is how I can do there's another way of doing it you can say like this like fields equal to and you can say like this all right and like like this all right You get the idea and we'll we'll keep that and we will remove this version okay right 
So as you can see, uh, there are two ways of writing your serializers. You can choose both serializer or model serializer. Uh, uh, both of them will get the job done for us. Now when to use which? If you simply want your entire model to be serialized, then why not use model serializer? Like in this case, I want all the fields of merchant model to be serialized so I can use model serializer. This is quite understandable, uh, the significance of model serializer. What about the plain serializer? When to use that? I mean this one. This serializer. When to use that? Well, sometimes you will probably uh, receive some fields from a web API call that might have different fields than that of your model. For example, let's say you are dealing with an API that has three fields. Password, confirm password, and new password. Okay? And let's say you have to serialize those fields against your user model. Maybe, maybe, why not? Now, do you have these three fields in your user table or like user model? Maybe you have this password in your user model, but maybe, you, maybe perhaps you don't have those confirm password and new password in your user table. In that case, which approach would you take? Will you go for the model serializer or you want to go for this serializer? I'm not gonna go for a model serializer in that case. It is because the user model does not contain those confirm password and new password fields. In that case, I would certainly go for regular serializer um, which can actually serialize uh, these three fields uh, with no issue. I hope now uh, you have understood the difference between serializer and model serializer and when to use which. Don't you think that I deserve a thumbs up? I will see you in the next video. Bye now.